So I removed the div that was here and just put this back inside. This else statement is now back inside the... Oh, wait a minute. What's happening here? This div should be outside like so. Yeah, outside and then the else statement inside without those cover divs I had added here. So instead of wasting time here, we will figure it out, don't worry. So let's go back to single class here and um, hmm, test edit, right? We need to be able to read from the database here. So I remember we had a query up here in the index. Where is that query? Uh -huh. Wow, it's quite far, isn't it? Isn't it? Okay, so here we are, and I will copy this right here and copy. You know, it would have been faster to just type it than to scroll all the way up there. But here we are. So at this point where I'm recreating the row, which is this one right here, I think I can use a similar system. Actually, I didn't need to go up there. Should have done this and say test underscore row is equal to, and yeah, let's create another one here. Instead of classes, this is going to be tests. Tests uh, module, maybe. Are we using the word tests anywhere else? No, we are not. Great. So let's use it here. I'll say tests model and let's separate those two and then here I will use the tests first class ID ID now instead of the class ID what we really need hmm, a predicament here Okay, let me go back here and show you the problem I have. So let's click back here. So the problem here is that uh, on the edit, all we are seeing is the class ID in the link, but we have no uh, test ID in there. So let's squeeze it in there. So change this to test ID and then instead of just having ID there, I will duplicate this and put test underscore ID. That way I can put test underscore ID over here. Cool. Now we need to have the test ID there when we need it. So let's go to the class uh, view, not this one. This is class tab test ink where the edit and delete buttons are. So there, and then right about here, we need to duplicate that and put a slash between them. And then this one will be test ID, like so. So I'm going to copy this and add it here as well. Boom, cool. Okay, refresh, no errors, that is great. So the link is a bit longer now. Let me click on it and there we go. Very nice, but why do we have this right here? Hmm. So let's go back and see what's going on. Aha, uh -huh. so tests row. So it seems we are simply just not adding it here that's about it. So let's add it right here. Like so. And let's do test underscore row. And let's refresh. And there we go. Cool. So now that we have this content, we can actually fill in the blanks here because we have the data to do so. So back to class. This is where we say edit a class. Class tab test edit ink then we can use our, hmm, let's see here. 
So let's get var test, but we want to have a default value here. So I'll put a comma and we already have provision for that. So let's do test row like this and say test. Let's see how that works. Okay, very cool. Let's try this other one here. Same process, comma plus a variable there, paste and uh, description. Yes, look at this. Uh -huh. Let me leave some space between these two. So here uh, we get a little bit complex. Let's uh, refresh. Okay, there we go. This is a description. Yeah. Now we just need these two. Now, in order to activate one of these, we need to just have the active thingy there. Is it active? No, it's not actually active. It's uh, selected. Yes. No, it's checked. Sorry. So when you say checked, then it will be checked. The last one to say checked will be the one checked. But we want this checked to only occur if it needs to. So we must put an if statement here. Now we can get the variable here, the var. Um, Hmm. Copy. Let's come. Um, okay, so let's do this. Disable it. Is equal to that, right? So we get var from disabled, if it exists, disabled, uh, same thing here, disabled. That's the get var. The problem with get var is that, uh, oh no, it's actually good. We are not echoing it, so we can send it there. Cool. So once we get this, we have to interpret this into uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hmm. Uh, the issue here is that if it's a zero, it should be in here. If it's a one, it should be in here. And we are not changing the values here per se. The same way we're doing here, what we're changing is to check which one of these should be checked. So and depending on the result here, the checked should either be here or there. Hmm. So, which means we need two variables. So, here and there. So, let me do this. Let's add this one here. And let's do this. Um, let's say active checked, like so. And then we change this one to disabled, checked like that. And then let's close these two like so. Okay, cool. So we're going to have either an empty value or the word checked in here. And then uh, depending on what's going on, we'll either echo an empty value or we'll echo the checked value here. So we need both of these here. So I'm just going to do this and say um, disabled. Let's put some if statements. So I'm going to say active checked is equal to, and then let's use the disabled as the query. So if disabled is one, this is what we are checking for. If it's true here that this is disabled, meaning it's a one, so for active, 
it's false so it's not active if it's a one so we'll leave it empty and then otherwise we will echo a uh, checked here like this okay so let's put this as a variable let's do the same thing here for disabled as well so disabled checked if this is disabled which means this is true and we move the checked over here and that should do actually so let's refresh and it's active okay cool now if i do this and put this one on give it a two there and hit save okay so finally an error to fix nice so this one says uh, too few arguments on function model update wow that's my bad yeah really my bad and the reason is simple uh, when you want to update you need the id here as well but these are the wrong ids we have here these are the we need the id id that numeric id for the raw but uh, let me see what we actually did for the other edits yeah how did we pull this off so this is update so how did i do this well look at that we used a query yes yes hmm we could have done with this actually the whole thing and put some errors as well mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um let's go back to test add here for a second uh, the problem i'm seeing here is that we are not validating the data that we are getting i think we'll handle that in the end so let's just come back to test edit here again and let's read from our from our database shall we mm -hmm. so back here to see if um let's see test row mm -hmm. update mm -hmm. Actually, we do have what we need because we have this row here. This represents the test row itself. So I'll copy this. So instead of sending the ID, it's always a bad idea to put the ID in a hidden field here. Uh, you should avoid that if at all costs, if you can. So that's what we will do here. We'll avoid and instead we'll get the data from right here. And then put it here. So we'll say row, test row id comma okay that should sort our problem out refresh resend okay now it's saying it can't find our class now the reason is because when redirecting we are not using the other id as we should so let me duplicate this like this and then put test underscore id so next time that will work fine because you see, we have managed to update term two, and then the activity has been set to no. So let's try and edit. Uh, you see it's disabled. Let's try active here. And uh, what's going on? Let me remove that too. See if it will redirect properly, and it has. Let's get back, and the active is yes. Back here, disabled, save and let's try back there we go cool but let's put a uh, message there as well mm -hmm. it's a good idea to have a message oh unfortunately we can't because we are redirecting anyway so eh, it's all good it's all good i think for now this is workable we can use this now for our delete and then we can deal with data validation oh wait data is being validated automatically let's try and uh, yeah actually it is so i don't need to worry about that let's see update 
let's get back to our test model and see what's going on when it comes to data validation okay so validate hmm actually didn't use this was supposed to have used it yes yes but i did not let's see on the add yep there is no data validation hmm that's too bad okay so so far so good we can edit let's see how we can delete then uh, let's fix that data validation thing